today I will be doing a review of Pokemon Black and White, also known as Pokemon Best Wishes. In Japan, this is just one season of the anime, but in America, it's split into multiple series. If you can't already tell from my YouTube channel, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I've been one since I was a little kid. Well, that's enough about me. On to the review. Pokemon Best Wishes covers Ash's journey throughout Unova with his new traveling companions, Silent and Iris. With over 150 new Pokemon, this will sure be one heck of a journey. Ash has actually gotten a pretty different redesign that I quickly got used to. He now has brown eyes and has the outfit of the male trainer in Pokemon Black and White's video game. The first episode actually has a homage to the original series and boy was it epic. The series has multiple references to the original series just like, just like the games do. Ash sometimes turns his cap backwards when catching Pokemon. Silent is a Pokemon connoisseur, I mean connoisseur, a connoisseur is um, the female connoisseur thing. Silent is a Pokemon connoisseur slash gym leader. I always wondered if it was okay for gym leaders to just leave their gym behind. He's a master of many different skills, allowing him to be useful in many, um, many different situations. I actually like him more than Brock. Running up to every girl trying to get her was getting kind of annoying. He was basically a childish, uh, childish version of a pervert. Iris is a girl from the village of dragons trying to become a dragon master. I'm glad she didn't want to do contests or, you know, like participate in a musical or something. Um, I'm glad that they made the character different. Not, uh, the last two characters have been into contest um, things. You know, we had May and Dawn. So, they, they are changing it up. Iris is actually pretty, an, pretty annoying as she constantly taunts Ash and calls him a little kid when it, um, it is herself actually acting like a child. In some situations, it makes no sense for her to call him a little kid. With this series, I feel as if they really wanted to separate themselves from the previous things in the series. Team Rocket doesn't show up that often and I love that. They were so annoying in the Diamond and Pearl Saga. Every single episode, the same dumb plot. But now, they're suddenly evil and do things behind the scenes. This is alright, but the story is actually way better when they aren't involved at all. This is just a note. Team Rocket wasn't really even funny. One cool thing that I think they should do with the series is bring back old characters. I'd love to see Brock, Misty, Tracy, and May. If someone isn't on that list, you... You, um... If someone isn't on that list that you think should be there, that probably means she comes back. Now, it's time to move on to the rivals. I'll just do a quick rundown. First, we have Ash's rivals, and he has three of them. Okay, so we have Jerk Paul 2.0. I mean, Trip. He's an overconfident jerk who takes pictures. He also thinks Ash is, some hick, is from some hick town, aka he's calling him country. I relate him to Paul because he has the same thing where Ash will come up to him and speak to him. But, you know, you have a rival who, they're they're basically rude and uh, Trip, he, you know, sometimes res responds to Ash and sometimes he doesn't, which is the same thing Paul did. The strange thing is, I like Paul better. Paul was a great rival and he's really one of the characters I wanted to return. While Paul was mean, he was cool. He had a nice story too. I want him to return, Gary too, but you know, Gary's a professor now, so that's kind of um, impossible, I guess. Next we have Bianca, who is Belle from the video game series. She's clumsy and pushes Ash into a, a body of water with every appearance. She's kind of stupid as well. Stefan is a rival who has a name that everyone seems to get confused, which really makes no sense, but this is a show for kids, so I'll let it slide. I don't really know what to say. He's kind of similar to Ash. Now we have two rivals I'd like to murder. I mean, make them disappear for a while. <laughs> Forever. Georgia is Iris' rival, who hmm, is basically a jerk. She's 
she was never a likable character and from her first appearance I hated her. It's one of those situations where someone says something extremely mean to you and you continue to be friends with them. That doesn't really happen in real life and if it does happen to you, get new friends. But her, re her relationship with Iris is pretty much like that. She has the title of a dragon buster which she gave to herself. Guess what? She specializes in defeating dragon types. That's kinda cool I guess. Um, I guess the other 16 types don't matter to her. Good luck in the Pokemon League or any gym battle. One more thing I don't like about this character is that she tries to justify losing. She'll justify her loss if Iris beats her. Finally, we have Silence rival, Burgundy. I thought she was a boy at first. She's a bad kind of Seuss as well. She's C-class if I recall correctly. She's a pretty bad battler from what I can tell. The main reason I don't like Trip, Georgia, or Burgundy is because they the way they talk to Ash, Irish, <coughs> Iris, and Silent is downright disrespectful. Frankly, the last two rivals get really annoying. The people of Unova are really surprised at seeing foreign Pokemon such as Pikachu. Again, I really like what they're doing. In the video games, you only have Pokemon present. You only have Unova Pokemon present in your first run, plus you have characters who think Pokemon from other regions are rare. It makes the universe more unique. Unova is the first region to be given a different name than its Japanese one. In Japanese, it's known as Ishu. Ginny and Joy have redesigns. Joy looks great, but Ginny looks bad. I don't like the short hair either. It makes her look weird and unattractive. I'm not knocking anyone with short hair. I just don't really like it. Jenny's short hair doesn't fit her at all. That's that's just it. Team Plasma was never shown. In my opinion, it's too late to add them. It would be cool to see more of N animated. There was a special for them fighting Team Rocket that never aired. I don't know what happened there, but Team Plasma will be getting an arc in Pokemon Best Wishes too. From the trailers, it looks pretty awesome. The gym battles in Pokemon Best Wishes aren't that amazing. The series needs better battles like Ash vs. Paul, which had me on the edge of my seat. Right now, I can't think of any that stood out to me. This series has much more enjoyable filler episodes. If you don't know what filler is, filler is basically it's basically something that it's an episode that's put in, but it doesn't advance the plot at all. So you can just add on filler and filler. They were cut down and they're actually more interesting in this series. They don't stray too much from the main plot. I'm saying this right now. This probably has some of the best filler in the series. There's not too much of it. Diamond and Pearl had a huge part of the series with filler in it. They're doing good by making it shorter. If they can make better filler, they should add more. I think I like the filler in the original series more though. I no longer think, what the heck is up with this filler? I now think this is pretty cool and actually funny. This is, that's another big thing some of the fillers actually made me laugh. I don't really laugh um, that much at different things. This series is packed with tournaments. I like it as it explores more of the battling aspect and I guess it's here because of lack of contests slash musicals. Slash musicals, I, I'm sorry I don't even know if I said that correctly, just trying to correct myself. We see the rivals a lot, and it would be nice if they were if they weren't so annoying. One of the rivals gets plot development during one of these tournaments, and I loved it. Focusing less on Ash and more on someone else was a nice detour. I know this happens every season, but Ash really needs to evolve his Pokemon. All the rivals advance while he had while he will have one or two Pokemon that don't evolve at all. It's just strange. When you evolve a Pokemon, you have access to better moves. I really don't want to see Oshawa take down a Haxorus or something. As I said earlier, this series contains many references to things throughout the Pokemon anime. Who's that Pokemon has returned, but it's way too easy. <laughs> it's way too easy. It's, it's always Pokemon present in the episode. I guess this could be challenging for little kids. Back in Hoenn, I believe the series had little quizzes. Maybe that should have been brought back as well. I also wanted to add that I love Ash's voice actor now compared to the one from the original series. That one sounded, that one was okay, but it sounded kind of weird. For me, I feel like Ash sounds more like a kid right now. 
overall, this is a great Pokemon series. It has new Pokemon and many references to the series before it. But it, it's kind of weird only having Unova Pokemon. Team Rocket doesn't show up that often, making the show even better. A few of the rivals are quite annoying, and I would write their names in my death note if they actually had last names. I give Pokemon Black and White or Pokemon Best Wishes a 9 out of 10. If you're a Pokemon fan or a fan of the video game series, you should, you should definitely check this out. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. You know you, you could, but you don't have to. I just wanted some new friends. <laughs> As the guy who did the commercial for Pokemon Black and White Rival Destinies would say, Ash is back and storming his way through the Unova region.